I bless the rains and <laughs> I bless the rains down in Fanaheim. Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. In the last episode, uh, I was tearing up a lot because this game keeps making me cry. Who knows? I'll probably cry in this video as well. But uh, we went back and dealt with Garm and now it is Fenrir because Atreus' wolf's soul was in his knife and he managed to put the soul into Garm's body. So I find it interesting now we have Fenrir on our side and I have a feeling this Fenrir is going to be the Fenrir involved in Ragnarok. I'm excited to see how that plays out. But anyway, we're heading back to Sindri's house and let's see what everyone has to say. If you guys have been enjoying the Ragnarok series, remember to leave a like. Your support does help this channel and lets me know you guys want more episodes. We're home! They're back. How did it go? We should trouble us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Nope. Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. <laughs> More than Ragnarok or anything is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. Why is Sindri walking away? He's been walking around away? with before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Say it? Okay, fine. No. <laughs> You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. Giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. For your eyes? Because remember, he can't so look into it. That's why he lost an eye. Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is, is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Oh, look at a choice of working. <laughs> then I'm going back to Vanaheim. Really? If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. I mean, I guess everybody has their own fights, right? We can't really blame her for that. Hmm. Father, I'm gonna study my notes on the mask. See if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. All right, thanks, listen, son. everyone. I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose well when you can turn into a bear by accident i suppose these things can happen so do you forgive me of course atreus we <sighs> know you meant no harm lad okay good 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 Andre? i'm sure i will Eventually. you know that's that's kind of fair okay. i get it yes i'll take it it, he's gonna need time because remember, Sindri was the one here. helping him majority of the time anyway. I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack, and certainly not by undead abominations. Yeah, it would have been nice if you he helped. For a shield <laughs> instead of a sword, you are right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tia. I believe you just might. 
Okay, so we got a lot of, like, thinking and regrouping to do. I did want to make a comment, because I didn't get to talk about this in the last video, because I was too busy crying. Um, <laughs> but I, I wanted to say this, because I, I feel like a lot of people were making this comment, too. Whenever Atreus was going against Kratos, everyone, I, well, the majority of the comments that I got were like, oh, if I did this to my parents, they would kick my ass. I, as a child of an immigrant, they would kick my ass. And then I started thinking, maybe the reason why I resonate with Atreus so much is because he is a child of an immigrant. Immigrant. If you really think about it, Kratos is not from here. He's an immigrant, right? So I guess that's why a lot of us really resonated with that moment when, when Kratos was like yelling at him and uh, Atreus running away and everything and defying his parents. Because I feel like this is such a normal thing with people who have parents who are immigrants. My parents came from like, you know, third world countries and like war torn countries as well. So like, I totally get the, the whole reasoning of your parents expecting so much from you because they, they had a hard, hard life and they want the best for you, right? But sometimes they push to the point where it's unbearable for the child itself. And that's the re that's what Atreus is going through, right? Because you know that Kr Kratos has been this entire game, the last game, he's been talking about how he does not want his son to find out about him. He does not want Atreus to know about his past. He doesn't want Atreus to become him. And he even said that in that memory with Faye, he's scared of his son becoming like him. That's caused him to push him further and further into, you know, anger. But I, this is why I, I cried so much because I was so impressed with the fact that they talked it out and Kratos was willing to listen. And then even now, when they all come together, he's, you know, he, he changed his mind about killing Humdial. And he's like, hey, maybe this isn't the way we should do a different way, which I think is really neat. And, and the whole thing about rewriting fate, I strongly believe that these characters are not destined to be whatever is on the mural that we saw in uh, Jotnar, it's supposed to be whatever we make it to be. So I'm, that's why I'm like really excited to finish the rest of this game, just because the storytelling has been so incredible. And I really, really like that it, it, it resonates with a lot of us, you know? <laughs> so I'm glad like I'm not the only one, you know, cried during that scene, but also like felt like, oh, that was like me when I was a kid. So like, I totally get everything. And I appreciate everyone's insight as well. I can sharpen that ax if you want. <laughs> Live in Whetstone, that's me. Oh, he went to go f to Freya's I'll talk to them in a second. You are well. <laughs> Take more than a port full of bone John stiffs to keep me down. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head, begging for attention? I was mauled by a bear. Nudged more like it. Care to join me, Kratos? Have a seat, think about your breathing, try and find stillness in your mind? Is that a possibility? No. <laughs> Immediately, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep working on this till you're ready to head out. Okay. Hey, wait. We're with you. Oh, okay. We travel to Vanaheim. Great. You're gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. Right, because, you know, Atreus didn't get to see that. Okay, yeah, this is going to be so interesting. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Frey to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freyr's camp. <laughs> Isn't that Freyr? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. Right. He's right too place. irresponsible. You like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it is. More the plants attack now. you here. Wait, can I show you? Remember we found those, it's like, this thing. This I do not know. And then Freya was like, maybe it's the giants, but then again, I don't know if Atreus knows anything about that. Alright, son, let's go. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered, and there is much I owe her. That is true, we do owe her. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to do... Hang on. Uh... There we go. Nice. Oh, I have to do it from there. Hang on, son. Convenient the uh, drop near spear is. <laughs> oh, hey, a thing. Son, we gotta read this. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. What was it? I bless the rains in. <laughs> traditional Vanaheim song. In Greece, the rain served as a reminder to worship the gods. Do the people of these lands worship the rain alongside their god? <laughs> I bless the rains down in Vanaheim! <laughs> I'm dead. That's actually really funny. Yeah, now that we have this, I can go through here and get this chest. I forgot it was 30. Whoa. An Yggdrasil seed to Muspelheim. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Did something happen? <laughs> what was that? Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. Uh, uh, I do not know you. Yeah, uh, do you same. not recognize your handiwork? What? Hildis Vini. Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I. Oh, I can't remember! I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's oh, that's right! Freya yeah! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Freya. Never mind, I remember now. Counselor to the Vanir. I remember. Yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim Aww. needs our help. Atreus is like learning and taking responsibility Even too. That's good. Mimirs. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. This man got jokes. <laughs> All right. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Everyone seems to have a favor to ask. It's Feeny. Uh, when we first met Freya as the Witch of the Woods, we had wounded her magical boar and helped her to heal him. Now we have met him restored to his human form, a trusted counselor of Freya and Freya. He appears to hold no grudge against Atreus and I, but his rivalry with Mimir seems long and bitter. Yikes. I mean, everybody seems to be angry at Mimir anyway, so... Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Hey, that happened. An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy. Oh. Time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, it'd be a fellow giant. Well, you don't disappoint. 
Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Okay, Good thanks. Luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> you think he's really forgiving oh. for shooting? Oh! Trust what me, the? lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. <laughs> You'd know it. What happened Did I just get attacked by a plant? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, mm -hmm. broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not um, concerned. Just curious. Yeah, Curiosity I'm curious well too. Curiosity well and good. But so is privacy. Huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. <laughs> Did I kill it? Oh, shit! Welcome in front. Look out! Oh no, not you! Damn! What the? Beat it up, Are there nightmares around? Oh shit! Oh, there is. I guess it's their 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 vanier magic, right? Oh shit! It avoids every attack. Oh my god. Oh, we still gotta fight you. I thought we were done. Get him, boy. One left. Hell, Vanaheim looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros, Greek, for humid. Egros. I like it. Oh, he's teaching him Greek as well. Cause I know Atreus knows a little bit of Greek, but that's so sweet. He's teaching him his language, and I like that. Kratos is opening up more about his, you know, his heritage, as he should. He should teach him about it. Wait a second. Did I... The Noken's making these things stronger! What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, I forgot they blow up! Oh my god! It's gonna blow! Find you! Okay! Is that all of them? Damn, they are getting stronger around here. It's not good. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the nine realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Hmm. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. <laughs> so does Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir is the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Maybe, um... Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. 
Hope he's okay. God damn it. Now I gotta wait for this stupid thing. Excuse me, Atreus. Excuse me, Atreus. Could you please move? <laughs> what the fuck is that noise? Face your promise. I can sense them up there. It's got to be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's going to be weird meeting them in person. Legend <laughs> meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, I hope they don't attack us. That's what I'm hoping for. That's pretty. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. Oh. A legendary <laughs> you see them behind me. <laughs> supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. Yeah, I, I, I guess. Um, all right, let's go look for the moon. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. Yeah, we have There's to figure it out. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hilda's Beanie and the elves, who else is part of Freya's army? Not my <laughs> army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier. Once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. Well, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I hope that stays that way. Oh shit. Um if I Outcome. remember correctly, you have to do this. Alright, let's run. Alright, you ready, guys? Son. 
Hello. Did you oh. see that? I didn't know they could do that. I didn't know they could do that Stay either. Alert. Yeah? Yeah. Correct. Hmm. Fitting. What does it say? Wall art. Wait, what? I don't know what it was. It, I, I... There they are. Hey! Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanya aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Right, you can't Those say that. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. Yeah, that works. <laughs> wall when I bring it down yeah! where are they uh empty where'd they all huh. go okay wait I shouldn't have there's done the that. moon uh wait, what? box down there that's got to be it oh yeah you're probably right it's probably a trap though this is probably a trap they're waiting for us to go down there uh, how do I get down there? This is definitely an ambush. Uh, yeah, yes. 100%. <laughs> they both know it. So dent in Odin's Whew. forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Yeah, I don't think so either. Well, that was an interesting battle. <laughs> okay, so how do I get over there? Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Yes. Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. <laughs> I agree, Kratos. What the hell? God damn it. A double ambush? Yeah. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Get him, son! Okay, okay. Let's keep going. Hurry! 
hurry. We gotta get across. Shit. Okay, hang on. I have to, like, make a way. <laughs> Where are they? There. He's going up the waterfall. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> She's still up there. Another ambush? Really? That times the charm. They are not smart. I understand. Yeah, they're not really smart, but they're you know, persistent. What we're doing right now? All of this? It's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. I know. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. Wait, am I supposed we're to go this rescuing way? Rescuing the moon? Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We can't, we can't give into that fear. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Whoa, what is that? What, what the? the? Nasty beast. Careful, lads. Okay, I don't know what... Oh, oh shit, it flies? <laughs> Oh shit! Hey, I, I have deflected one of these. Watch your left. This fucking guy. Oh fuck! Oh no! I might die. Oh, it regenerates? Interesting. <laughs> you think I got the stone? It's good. I'm almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Oh! Uh, I was there. That's the item that he was I, looking I didn't for. Know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. So that's what he was looking for. All right, let's keep going. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Yes. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Mm. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Yeah, I still strongly believe in that. Everything the Norns have said, the reason why they happen is because you kind of like give in to that. Oh, what the? <laughs> Careful, brother. It's covered in bifrost. God damn it! Ah! Get away from me! Jesus. Good job, Chris. But what is really be doing all this? 
What if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement? It, it's it's hard though like i understand why atreus is freaking out like i, I totally get why because he, that's his only parent right so obviously you wouldn't want that and it's still scaring him but he's got to learn to let go like like atreus uh, like kratos has been doing with atreus letting go the of does make some him. good points though as long as atreus lives so be it that's a true father right there of course you would want your kid to live like fuck your safety you know what i mean like who cares here goes nothing Just like inside their shrine. They need an arrow. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. You can do it, Atreus. Elsa! Good choice, lad. gift for us a way to call them anytime we need them oh cool remember that altar we saw when we first got here i think that's where we're supposed to use it oh perhaps freya will know so that's what those founders are for the keys of dusk till dawn not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda's Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Back to the camp. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. We got so many wolves at our disposal, if you really think about it. <laughs> so many. It's kind of good. <laughs> wow. This place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. Look out! God, now what? The fuck? Get off of the hell are those? Oh! What the? Get off me! Oh, God, God, Yep. Still very, very egros. Liking it less now. Ah, <sighs> Jesus. Oh my god, everything is like attacking us. Hey, there's another bird up there. What the fuck? 
That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuryar we've been fighting, mm -hmm. they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Yeah, and then we Odin takes war, them. We do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. Atreus, you gotta stop saying like the prophecy said. That's the that's the whole point of Kratos saying don't give in to it. You gotta make your own. The reason why it keeps coming true is because you keep believing in it. This boy has a lot to learn. Oh my god! What the? Oh, fuck's sakes! Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Hang on, hang on. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit, I keep missing the- <laughs> There we go! Okay, that one's down. Where's the other one? Here we go. Is it just hiding in the water? Oh! 
Like the egros. Holy hell. Good job, son. I'm proud of you. <laughs> so, we report back to Hildas Fini. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf. Okay, but. Odin's not going to stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, right. not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yeah, that, father. That is true, too. Just because it has all the answers doesn't mean it's the right way to do it. You may have to, like, sacrifice something. Odin did. He sacrificed his fucking eye. So you don't know, like, what the consequences are of getting all the pieces of the mask yet. <laughs> Ah, oh, God, I thought I could all outsmart it. It outsmarted me! No, no. <laughs> Only the Kamaptious ones. Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. She's a big dog. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. All right, let me just like upgrade everything. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. <laughs> Come, Kratos. We should get moving. All right, hang on. Let me just talk to Brock. Oh, hi. Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cutie pie. Should have seen him a couple winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. <laughs> oh, you hush. Ain't nothing wrong with a growing boy. Nice work with the wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding Freyr in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. Hmm. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. Ah, that's true. What now we plan? can do it. When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for Wait, once. how do we get past this? With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll Ooh, regroup <laughs> by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Stop that wisp, brother! Yelpa! This thing. <laughs> Where's the other one? Black Frost, above you! 
Since our, last hmm. our disadvantages are many. Bro, <laughs> I can't believe I wasted my resurrection stone on that. Jesus. Yeah. Not Must stop that Noken from singing. Where the hell is it? Up there, up there, up there, up there, up there. Move, 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 move. <laughs> Oh. Can I get up there? Oh, shit. I don't know where it is. There's a stupid thing. Left side, brother! <laughs> Is there more? Take it off, uh, man. Crazy. Try dragging the scepter across the Yeah, it's like a singing bowl. Come on, we're making good time. Holy crap, that's so cool. in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. 
They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. I mean, I feel like we have. <laughs> chose not to walk that path right back when we first met i doubt you'd have done the same and you do you still seek ragnarok odin has much to answer for if groa's prophecy is correct perhaps my realm can finally know peace perhaps i can know peace forgive me for being a head on a belt but haven't we all <laughs> just established how prophecy is pure havers god samir what the most annoying man alive. <laughs> right? How did I do this again? I really forgot. Oh! Wait. More up ahead. Oh, great. On your mark. My mark, huh? <laughs> 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 Oh shit! Ow! Perfect! Use the shield strike! I'm trying! The guy will go down! Damn! I'm so tired of all these guys. God damn, all it. Is this the only guy left? Come on down here. Oh, I'll come up here. It was in our way. I don't doubt it. <laughs> Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the world tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Yeah. Neithog protects the tree's roots wherever they are. Ah, so, yeah. I see. They were just... Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Mm -hmm. Classic Odin. Yeah. She's just trying to protect the tree, so it's not, not really her fault, but, yeah, it's not going to end up that way. Just make extra noise once he assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. Okay. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. Yeah, that's true. This he is, is trusting him more, so it should be fine. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please.
Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. This is gonna be a hell of a fight, isn't it? I'm scared! <laughs> We're coming for you, Ingvi. What the hell was that? Oh Can shit! Hop dial! <laughs> what? Idiots. I guess we are gonna fight him, huh? No. If it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. The burden is mine. I can help. Can you though? Because he knows he with Dropnir, we have an advantage. Uh, Freya doesn't. Need it elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this, but we know how this ends. See you soon. Okay. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished. H Heimdall has no idea. <laughs> this is kind of funny. All right. What you got? So aggressive. So angry. Yeah. Oh, it's your reputation. I thought I would at least break a sweat. Oh, shit. I gotta be fast with this asshole. Whoa. What did Cool Toll forever do to you? Nothing. I feel bad for this thing. Because it really didn't do anything to me. <laughs> Why did you get off that ghoul tooper thing and actually fight me, Humdial? Have some fine rocks on me. Ah. Uh -oh. Ow! Uh -oh. 
Nobody is coming to help. I'm gonna die. I, I may have to restart this part. It's just you and me, and that great No. You are rudely prolonging No. No. I thank God. You are predictable. Huh. Nice stick. Ow! Come on! Fight me! What the fuck am I supposed to do? What the? Yeah! I can feel your frustration, you know. It is okay. So that's something, but I still. I'm still not getting what anything now, with this guy. This pin remains our best chance. Let's go already. So I gotta I just gotta stun him. Is that all I can really do? Hey, careful! These are new braces. <laughs> I got him! So, like, make a dance? Is, is this the only way to get him somehow? I guess that's it. I just gotta, like, make, make him walk on this shit. Actually hit me! Holy shit! Slow down! Uh oh. Okay, I'm I'm fucked. I don't remember the last time anyone hit me. Yeah, you like it? Slow down. I can't decide Ow! if I'm more surprised or pissed off. Come on, brother. You hit him once, just gotta find the right open! You think you can bring down the Asgard? Hurry! Oh, I gotta I gotta redo that. <laughs> it threw me off. At least I got something, so this guy can slow down time. Damn, this guy got everything! Slow down! See, that's what I mean. Like, it's hard. Slow it down. Come on, brother. You hit him once. You just gotta find the right opening. <laughs> there we are. Armor fit for a cop. You know. Hey, he's not as bad as I Come remember. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're just mad because I'm actually hitting you.
Is this a trick? I can't tell with him. <laughs> Wait. What is going on in that empty little head? Oh, no, no, no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am. Oh, he's he's going, going to. Got him. Time. Ah! 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 <sighs> okay, this well. Is final warning. <laughs> I don't think a warning is going to cut it. Mm -hmm. You think you get to just walk away? Bro, shut up! What is up with this guy? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> He's really using the bye for you us to cure himself. Do not get to decide my fate! So he knows! He wants you it! Dead sunshine. My man is oh my god, bro. Oh! Hey, can we restart the strike? You way over your head. Actually, you are. <laughs> I was already dead anyway. He could have just let it go, but does he want his death? Is that what he wants? Because he can't feel anything? Yeah. Way over your head! Ow! Slow it down. Don't you know who I am? Yeah, I you don't know who I am, apparently. Of the Aesir, the Herald of Ragnarok. Enough! Ow, fuck! I'm going you. to find that little mongrel of yours and beat his face into a home. <laughs> Only one this of fight is too is quick. Oh, shit. And it sure as shit will not be you. <laughs> That was fucking crazy, dude. Ow! And spare me. I am growing very sick of you. Come on, Kratos, come on! Lights out. Are you kidding me? One more hit and he's dead! Slow it down. You way over your head! <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the AC, the Herald of Ragnarok! <laughs> I am going to find that little mongrel of yours and treat his face into a pulp. <laughs> Only one of us is walking away from this. And it sure as shit will not be you. <laughs> Trust me, I am too, bro. 
He wasn't supposed to do that. Kratos, that was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. I think it's both. I think it's both. That wasn't supposed to happen. Hamdel was everything described a cruel, pompous bully. Yo, he was annoying and a formidable foe. His gifts of intuition were nothing to be ignored, nor was his un unexpected mastery of the Bifrost. When I struck a blow that should have ended the fight, I tried to heed the voice in my head and that he was beaten, not worthy, not worth a killing. But Hamdel sensed my pity and it shamed him. His pride would not allow him to accept my mercy, so in an end I gave him none. It was not my choice, and yet I feel satisfied? Have I proved the Norns wrong or have they proved them right? I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode right here. Holy crap. That was an interesting fight, though. It took me a while to understand what was happening, but yeah, like Mimir said, that's not who he's supposed to be. But then again, is that who he is? Like, we don't know. I don't know how I feel about killing him, because I really thought Kratos wasn't going to. He's just going to knock his ass out or something, but I don't know if that's going to aid us or, like, that's what's going to end us. I don't know. I'm worried now. I'm really, really worried to see what's going to happen next. But, yeah, we got to catch up with Freya and help uh, get uh, Freya out of there and... I don't know how I feel. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of God of War Ragnarok, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of God of War Ragnarok. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!